Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrix, and a far more fun and happy episode. Today, sir and sirettes, we're making the best of a not-so-great situation, and we are going to be doing a bit of a taming run for one particular very scary animal. Today, sir and sirettes, we are looking for a spino, one of the biggest and most fearsome of all the carnivores in this world. Uh, let's actually find it in the thing so I can show you because I've already tamed one before, but still. Where are they? Uh, there they go, the Spinosaurus. Ta-da! One of these lovely things. Now, the thing is, it's going to be a bit different to usual so and so because I have just loaded up this world in maximum difficulty, which means once animals despawn and respawn, they have a chance of respawning at ridiculously high levels. I actually earlier tamed a level 67 Dilo, which got which got killed by a level 100 Piranha. I also now have a level um a level. Oh, I drunk water because I was hungry. That makes sense. Maybe I was trying to eat some ice. Um, but yes, and I, I do actually have tamed a couple. I, sorry, one very very high level elephant. Uh, no, no, uh, the proto elephants, the Fiomia. Because I absolutely adore the Fiona and think that's some of the best. Now, you see in front of you a low level Argentavis because, um, again, it takes a while for them to spawn. And I just loved how this one was like pure. Um, in the sky, it looked fantastic. Pure red and orange, and it's just really nice looking and stuff. So, what we're going to be doing is I'll be just. I'll be quickly finishing the timing of this because I kind of want a flock of um, Argentavis, I've decided, to be a hunting flock. I've decided that I find that far more fun than the. Oh, mic sounds. than the ground creatures. And I've made a lot of narcotics. So. Yeah, we're kind of back into things now. I also broke my gloves at some stage. When did I break my gloves? I don't know when I broke my gloves, so and so but I do know that I did break them, and that is a fact which we'll have to live with for all eternity. As I can make gloves. So, yeah. Back into the game. No more cheat codes. No more of that stupid silliness. All the lovely, empty, um console command, so I'm, I'm happy again, so and so, so we're back on it, we're back in track, and once we've got the Spino, we can continue our uh, our rightful ascendancy into some of the high-level stuff. Now, one of the scopes, I've been told, can actually tell the levels of creatures from far away, and I'm not sure which scope it is, but I'd love to have it. Damn, level 10. I was hoping perhaps to be like, level 105! Like I say, it, they have to respawn in. You, if you change the difficulty, the things which, have, which are already spawned in simply stay the level they were. It doesn't suddenly level up all the wild creatures. Uh, 18 isn't exactly too high. What's that over there? Another one? Oh, that's a sabre. I don't think I can one shot a sabre. That, yep, that's definitely aggroed the sabre from half a mile away. How that thing even knows where the shot came from is actually a testament to its intelligence. And I think I hit a tree. What's that there? Is that something dead? I think that's a dead, uh, I want to say Argentavis, but I really can't tell you what it is. Where did the saber go? Is the more important and far more scary question. And possibly a really bad child's game. It's being distracted by the corpse. Excellent, okay. Let's kill the saber. Then I'll continue to tame my little Argentavis friend over here. Am I even hitting it? I can't tell if I'm hitting it or not. If I'm hitting it, that took like four or five rounds, and that's not. I definitely hit it in the ass because I saw the bl the um, blood wound that time. I'm getting far too close to this saber, honestly. To the point where it's actually scaring me. I don't like this. Is it healing while it's eating? Is there something I'm missing here? Am I just really that bad a shot? All these things could be very much possible. Da 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 da. Boom. Level tw oh, come on, I'm just missing like, every darn shot. Okay, well, uh, my terrible marksmanship aside, let's uh, skip for... Oh, hello, what level are you? Because I do need a, a high-level mammoth as well for later. Four. No, thank you. Okay, uh, did I put all of the prime meat I found in? Yes, I did. That means you should be a bit closer than you were. Okay, good. Uh, no plus level, sadly, because I don't know. Oh, it turns out the plus level... Yay, it must have ate one of the prime meats. It turns out the plus levels, by the way, I've figured it out now because I looked on the wiki and stuff, and of course your lovely comments, is a mixture of the timing effect efficiency and the level of the creature itself. Um, the higher level they are, the more bonus levels they can get. The lower level, the less. Um, level 1's can only get a maximum of about 3 or 4. I can't, can't remember the exact number, so don't quote me on that. And uh, the level 67 Dilo I had was actually only level 50-something until I timed it, then suddenly, boom, I'm 67, then, I, then again it died to the 100 Prana. So, back in a second. Don't play with spears, kids. You may end up like Johnny over here. 
At last, a new Argent Ivis is in our grasp. It took freaking forever. Um, for those who don't know, Argent Ivis are actually quite difficult to tame. Oddly so, in fact. It's purely because they eat remarkably slowly in comparison to most of the other animals on the island. Um, things like the the Fiomia, for instance, are actually actually easy to tame purely because they are, well, they eat very fast. Now, I did just come back already. This is the second time coming up here. And we are going to start... Oh, no, I didn't grab the... Okay, never mind. So it is the equivalent of the first time coming up here. So, Sir and Threat, um, we've got our new bird. So what we need to do now is make preparations to actually get the... Um, the required narcotics before we do our hunt, as we are going to need a lot of them. The Spino is the only animal so far that actually woke up during taming with me. And the thing is, the higher level they are, the more prone they are to waking up, according to several sources. So, obviously, big, big problem when it comes to stuff like that. So, we're, so I'm going to need... Oh, well done, you, you, um, you um leveled up, my little Bronto friend. You've got any narcos? You've got one stack. Is that it? Okay, we'll have to go getting some more. Oh, no, no, you have two stacks. Still not enough, though. Um, we're going to need about 500 narco. No, we're going to need about 700 narcos in total. So, anyway, yeah, like I was saying before, I do not have my my high level Fiomia. Uh, apparently, it's fighting over here. There were 12 Raptor. Apparently, thought it was a great idea to try to attack this entire herd. Smart. Really. Very, very um, intelligent there. Upgrade your carrying capacity. So yeah, these are my two new Fiomia. My my low level one before the upgrade to the um, difficulty, and my high level one, which is after the upgrade. And um, that they're, they're they're simply going to be used as pack mules for my mammoths. Although I am going to rename that mammoth soon because I don't like the name Rebirth. I decided. What level are you? 18. Nope. Oh, I found him in combat. But nope. Is it, no, is that Dilo over there? Level 21 Dilo, in fact. But it's now being eaten. Uh, no, Persephone, don't, no, you don't need to do that. Really, you just don't. So, what I'm going to need to do, obviously, is get some more narco berries. So I'm just going to wander over to the... Uh, which... Where shall I go into those forests? I'll go over this forest. And I'll get another few um, narco berries. So what I'll do is I'll quickly allow this to drop all of its content. Um... You'll get the thatch again while I'm doing it, so drop that. You know, just here, just drop a thousand of each berry, why not? Because I don't need them. And that will go speed me up. Okay, so back in a second once I've got probably about... Um, what I'll be doing is getting all the berries together, and then every time I I'm about to drop my inventory, I'll simply keep the... <laughs> Look at this, how many am I attacking at once? And then, of course, the herd's going to help out in a second, most likely. Hello again, Torch. Level 28 trike. Okay, that was one of the um, that was one of the new difficulty ones, I think. Level 30 trike. Okay, brilliant. So they're starting to actually spawn in at higher levels now. Eventually, we'll be seeing level 50s and all sorts of good stuff like that. <laughs> I love the Bronto. It's so unfair in its fighting style, because if you're not fast enough, it's simply going to bat you away every time before you get anywhere near it. Level 24 Dilo. That could have been spawned normally. Oh, this thing's taking a freaking beating. What level are you? Level 90 Stegosaurus, so and so it's level 90 Stegosaurus. Okay, well that's fantastic. So they are now actually spawning in properly. So once we go hunting for the Spino, hopefully we'll actually find the Spino we want. Anyway, so and so it's, uh, about the last episode and everything, I'm really happy again now. And um, thank you to all of you who were like, um, who were very uh, supporting of the measures I had to take, sadly, with the console commands. And um, a lot of you were saying that you would have either quit or done a lot worse. Well, yeah, it was tempting. It very much was tempting. But I'm having fun now. It was just a minor blip in my enjoyment, and I'm back having a load of fun again in this game, and honestly, it hasn't really hindered anything. And of course, the series will continue as always. So, let's just continue with this. Okay, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip ahead, because it's going to take a while, because sadly this area is... Sp this is the only problem with this pillar. It has no dense um, vegetation spots anywhere nearby. I've, I've had a look around. The most dense I can find is past that little pillar over there, but it's a bit of a nuisance. Did I just aggro that raptor? I wonder what level the raptor was. Oh, level 9. Well, that was uh, very quickly found out. Okay, back in a second. We're back, and with a ton of narco berries. Look at this, Siren Threads. The power of the Bronto after just three or four minutes in one of the most sparse areas in the game. That's incredible. Admittedly, we are still on the times two harvesting speed, 
But even with that, that is kind of ridiculous. So let's get back up to the top. Actually, first of all, let's see. Who's got all of my meat? Because we're going to need the equivalent rotting meat as well. Um, Mr. Not Angrath, you've got quite a lot of my meat, and apparently you've killed at some point a, a um, Argent Ivis. When did you kill an Ar Was that me mounting you and killing one? I can't remember. Uh, Drag, how about you? Do you have any? Yes, you do. You have more meat. Excellent. And of course, what we're going to do, uh, for people who don't know about this little trick, which is always a lovely trick, you simply keep splitting the meat stacks in your inventory because each stack rots a certain speed. And each time a stack rots, you lose one meat from that stack. So if you have, let's say, a hundred stacks, it they all rot at once. Whereas if you have um, them all in just five stacks, so all twenty stacks, it would take a lot longer. <clears throat> and I have a bit of a cough at the moment, so I'm sorry about the throat suddenly going a bit funny there. There we are, there we are. Well, my inventory looks a bit like a butcher's, I've got to admit. But that will take only a few more seconds and all this will rot, and then we can put that into the lovely mortar and pestle, and we've got ourselves a lot of, of narcotics, and also probably a level. Oh, other side note, stone threats, a miniature patch came out at some point, I didn't realise because it was one of the mini patches. Seriously? Oh, of course, you can get out as soon as I dismount you. Come on. And I want to upgrade your melee damage still, because I do love my hope. I love upgrading melee damage for most of my animals, purely because I, I love to be able to, um... Not even necessarily hunt, but I like my animals to, to, to be able to defend themselves, so if I'm doing something, I like them to be able to actually, you know, attack back and kill something that's attacking them. I didn't realize Hope was so bright. Are we actually the same color? No, not quite. The front of Hope is green and quite bland, where little Torch there is actually completely the pink color. Now, now, now you can actually get... Oh god, my stammer as well. You, you can always tell when I'm ill, because my stammer gets worse. But um, seriously, you can get a bright red variety of um, Argentavis, but they're quite rare. I've only, I've, I've only seen a few in my time. In my long and, and illustrious arc career, I've only seen quite I've only seen a few, and sadly, every time I've seen them, I wasn't in the position to actually tame them, so... Never, never really managed to get one, one of the darker red variety. That's not going to take long at all. And not... Oh, most of them have already rotted. There we go. There's number 54 there, so that'll be 54 narcotics. Let's put all these in. Oh, well, yeah, so back to the point. There was a mini patch introduced, which allows us to do this. Craft all. Oh my lord, sir and sir. That is such a good feature. Why did it take them so long to add that? Did any more rot while I've been here? Nope, so I need to get some more rotting meat then. That's the thing which is holding us back. Thankfully that'll take freaking forever to do. Uh, hope, do you have any more rot? No, we have a load of meat though, so I'll grab all these. And I'll quickly make these rot, then we'll make ourselves some more narcotics. And then we'll go and make ourselves some more arrows, which are actually very, very easy to do indeed, since it's just fibre, uh, thatch, and flint, which are all remarkably easy to get, if a bit boring. So, back in a second then, with all the, all the lovely narcotics ready, so we can actually go on the hunt. Okay, well, there's the last arrows made I'm going to make, I think. Let's see. Let's make sure how many stone... Okay, I have 35 stone arrows. I'll convert all of those into tranquilizing arrows. I've just repaired my bow, and I've just allowed all of that meat to rot into some beautiful, beautiful spoiled meat. So I should now have enough narcotics and enough tranquilizing arrows to be able to deal with the spino when we find it. I'm actually quite nervous, sir, and so because the spino... As I say, the spino before was very, very difficult to tie up, and very difficult to actually knock out. I would say I am actually a lot more scared of Spinos than I am of um, Rexes, because they, first of all, they don't bug out on rocks as much, so you can't be a bit cheap, because they are four-legged and they seem to be able to path a lot better than, than the Rexes, possibly because they were added later, I don't know. I couldn't really tell. Oh my god, still making all the narcotics. Almost leveled up, by the way, just putting it out there. We've almost leveled up by making all these narcotics. Once again, thank you so much for being able to craft all of them at once. So, what's, so what I'm missing now is it just narco berries, so I'm making 84, I've got 82 there. Do I need to make more? Do I need to make more? Um, yes, I would say I do. Okay, I'm going to get a few more narco berries, then we'll go on the hunt. Oh, so and so, I'm excited. I'm actually really looking forward to this hunt, because this is going to be difficult. This is going to be very difficult. We're going to have to find it first off, then we're going to have to figure out a way to actually get it down, to actually, um, get it knocked out, because this is not going to be an easy thing to do, and I'm, that's what I love, it's actually difficult, which is awesome. 
Also, by the way, Stone Test, this will be one of the last um, timing videos for a while because I know I've done quite a few of them. But we kind of. I think this is well timed after the incidents of last time, so it's just one of the things I need to do. So let's uh, land this lovely beast here. There we are. And let's get on Persephone once more. Hello, Persephone. How are you doing, love? You haven't got any, any narco berries I didn't notice? Nope. And hopefully the bushes have already respawned. Fantastic. So let's get out. Oh, the birds got me stuck. There we go. <laughs> It's amazingly, it's amazing how bad the birds are, and, and that that includes the um, the the tranodons, which of course aren't actually birds, um, at causing glitches and causing things to get stuck. It's because their wings are, are really weird hitboxes. Okay, I'll grab these and I'll make the narcotics, and I'll probably level up very very soon as well. I mean, look, I'm right next to leveling, and look, as you can see, as the narcotics are made, even if I'm not close. Any second now, that seven, yep, we'll jump to a nine, and that carries on and carries on. It's like I've always said, I, I honestly believe that narcotics are the best way to um, power level in this game. And now we wait until all of them are crafted, and then we go on the epic hunt, and hopefully we'll have leveled in the progress so I can get some more health or something so we can fight the Spino better. Or something. <laughs> okay. The last back in a second before the great hunt, so inserts. Ooh, the excitement. Well, it turns out it pays to have a look at your past um, boxes. I actually, have 34 narcotics just lying there in one of these two um, in one of these two chests, and also 50 arrows, which I could have really used a while back, but now I don't really want to. Br uh, okay, I'll bring it, but I have too much meat on me. I've got to, I've, I've got to give the meat to one of the animals before we um, set off. But yeah, that really paid off. So, how many narcotics do I have now? I have a grand total of. 172. Now the thing is with the Spino, they do run out very, very quickly. However, however, we can always come back for more. But they will wake up remarkably. Okay, okay, we're actually done. So they will wake up re remarkably quickly, but certainly not long enough. Sorry, not not quick enough for, for us to get back and come back with more narcotics. So that's that. Okay. So hope. Um, here's a gift of lots and lots of meat. Most of it, honestly, I took from you in the first place. So not really a big deal there. I'm sure he's very, very happy. We really do need to get a female, because right now we have two males, which means we don't have the mate bonus, so our flock's a bit weak. And of course, eventually I want a proper flock, so what I'm going to do is go out hunting for the higher level Argent Ivis off camera, and I'm going to try and get two or three at once. Since I eat so slowly, their meat reserves go down quite slowly, also their knockout stat naturally also goes out rather slowly, so it's not too much of a big deal. So, spinos. Where do you find spinos? You find spinos in the water. You find them in, mostly in rivers. You don't find them out by the ocean. If you call it an ocean, since it's, um... I guess you can call it an ocean if it's fresh water. I don't really know the definition there. Giant body of water. It could just be a lake. Oh, look, a spino. That's quick. The problem is, there's a very good chance that was spawned in before the difficulty upgrade. Because the big problem is, spinos don't die regularly. They don't really die very often in the wild because, well, they stick to the waterways and there's not any predators really hunting them, so what level are you? Three. So obviously, we're not going to leave them alone, we are going to kill the spino. However, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to get Torch to land, purely because Torch will be killed by the, by the AoE attacks of the spino, so I can't really deal with that. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully kill him with my little birdie here, by trying to stay away from the mouth. The big problem is, this thing turns a lot faster than a Rex, and does about as much damage with much faster attacks. So, as you can imagine, I'm I'll say I'm much more scared of Spinos than I am of Rexes because there we go, Rexes can kind of um, abuse. Oh wait, I forgot they should have some loot, shouldn't they? What'd you get me? Oh, <laughs> okay then. That's the. Oh, is that, is that still going? I did, I did not think that was still going. Well, that is to reskin a flare gun to be the 4th of July um, fireworks. So, did not know that it dropped off a spino. I was wondering where it dropped off, because I, I was told that it, it, was, it was a random drop in the world. But I didn't know if it was from loot um, boxes or what. So, I didn't know that was still going on, but apparently it is. We are playing an up-to-date um, game, because we're actually updated today, so it's very nice that's still a thing. Also, we're getting some lovely prime meat here. I don't actually know why I brought Torch along. Um, also, need to level it. I think for the followers in the flock, I'm going to almost solely upgrade health because I don't trust them to survive. So we are levels of its health. Uh, what what level are these dodos? 
Level 5 Dodo and a level 20 Dodo. Okay. Wouldn't that have been a little bit cool if we found, like, I don't know, a level... 50, do uh, 50 or 100 Dodo. Oh my god, can you actually find level 100 Dodos? If you can, that would be kind of cool. Gotta be honest, it would be a little bit cool. Okay, come on, Torch. We can try and level you up as we go. And yoink. <laughs> oh, this is so mean. Okay, the hunt continues. As soon as Torch, let's go. There we go. Thankfully, when you're with animals of your own um, type, generally speaking, it's not so much of a buggy issue as when, let's say, I was with with the with the Tranodon, which was an absolute nightmare. And that is a dead Dilo. Okay then, the hunt continues. Well, this is number four now, sir and sirettes. All the rest were low level, and this one was sadly the same. I wanted to see if my bird could actually solo it without my help, and apparently it can, so well done to Hope. Hope, <laughs> Hope can just destroy these things. So I'm going to continue the hunt, and I'll be back in a second. I'll probably just skip ahead now until I actually find one worth taming. On the upside, now I've killed so many, um, they will be all on their respawn timer, and when they respawn, they will have the new rules. I guess all, I guess um, my pet's got all the loot, hasn't it? So, oh, I like my pickaxe. Come, okay, hope. Follow me then. That'll get you lower once I move away. Let's see if we've got any loot worth taking. It might have a new pike. Thank you. Okay, what have you got in your inventory, my precious? Cloth pants. I'll take the the arrows and I'll upgrade your melee damage even further. Okay, the hunt continues. It'll be a very long hunt today, I feel. A very, very long hunt indeed. Well, 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 sir and sirettes, there we go, there we have it, the mighty Spino. Now you may be wondering to yourself, why on earth have you just skipped to actually having the animal? And I've got a good reason! Because actually, after the last clip, I had to leave because of an um, unforeseen circumstance, that unforeseen circumstance being a relative who suddenly came by, and then it was way too late for me to record as it was already late anyway. So I continued through the night, and I have recorded the meeting of this great creature. At about 2am, I finally found a medium level Spino after keep on. Oh, even the respawns kept on being like level 20 odd, so I simply couldn't find a decent level one. Eventually found the little algae here, and then became the best of friends. By the way, this thing took 450-ish narcotics. Not even kidding. Wish I was, but not. It eats so slowly, it's just, oh, thankfully I got, got a prime meat and that sped things up, but still. Oh, and I also found this little bugger. Meat truffle, level 177. Yep, it was level 90-something and it got bonus levels. I've got the level 177 Fiomia. Fear my wrath. So, before I um, skip to the video with me um, timing this thing, by the way, not the most epic battle in the world, got to be honest, <laughs> I basically just hid on a rock, but still. I want to quickly um, examine the stats between a level 177 that I've only leveled up once, and this lovely level 7 here, which I've leveled up a few times. So, box here, three oh god, that's no food, what do you have no food for? What happened to your food? I'll um, grab some from um, Persephone in a second. 300 health, I'm just going to go for some of them. 300 health, 220 weight, 286 damage. 392% damage, 264 weight, and almost 2,000 health. Honestly though, all the other things have very little diff- It seems like the main difference when you get a, a higher level creature is health and um, speed, honestly. Even with these guys who don't level up speed particularly quickly. Wait, 135 versus... Oh, never mind. Same speed. So it isn't speed at all, it's just melee damage. So it's melee damage and health, but but, but melee damage is less so than health. So, basically what I'm trying to say, Sir Interest, these are two extremes of the spectrum, and yet the difference is very minor. Um, it's pretty much... I'm just saying that the wild levels don't really matter too much other than health. Of course, that is a big deal with very large creatures and with high health. So, the Spino, um, the one I had before the crash, which I didn't show you, which was level 7 or 6, had around about 600 health, probably a bit lower than that. This one has 1,260, which I'm going to level up a little bit, by the way, because I don't like it so low. Okay, so anyway, back in a second with that um, video, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the saddle and call it a day. Ha-ha! Okay, so there we are. It's currently past 2 a.m. because I got to go but came back, as I probably just mentioned. But um, this thing has just absorbed over 20 
tranquilizing arrows, it's still taking them. It was getting headshots, but it's just moved its head down, so now I'm kind of just shooting its back. I could space them out, and I think I might have to soon. Um, the full five seconds to give it the time for it to, you know, sink in, but this is getting ridiculous. I'm also very nervous. There are piranhas all over the place. I managed to lure this thing over here by simply luring it from all the way around there up to here with the um, bird. Can we possibly take this thing? Oh, there it goes. Okay, fantastic. Let's get down there quickly before the goddamn um, piranhas kill it. Is that piranha attacking it? It doesn't look like it is, but I really don't. I really hate piranhas in this game. They're so annoying. I had to make some new tranquilizing arrows because I did tame a proto elephant while I was waiting. Cause it took so darn long to find this thing. Oh, come on, get to me. There we go. Anyone else? Okay, good. Let's see how much food. Okay, it's actually not too bad. Look how fast that thing runs out. Okay, thankfully we've got 200 narcotics. That should be enough. If not, we can run back. We're not too far away from our base. We're not close. We're not too far. About two minutes flight less. The rest of the meat's on the bird. Okay, I'm going to probably just skip ahead. Like I say, it's 2 a.m. currently, so I can't really do much in terms of speaking. I shouldn't even be speaking now, but still, for your entertainment, I am breaking all the rules like a true rebel. Back in a second. On the upside, it's now 4 a.m. and I have tamed the beast. On the downside, um, it used up over 400 narcotics in the end, and for some reason it's bugged and won't run. Oh, now it's running. Oh, thank the lord, because I can't actually make the saddle until I get back, and I don't really trust leaving this thing in the wild. Never mind. Now, wasn't that a lovely battle? Okay, so, we need to make ourselves a Spino, um, a Spino saddle. Now, I did make it before, no, wait, no, I didn't, yes, that's right, I didn't make it before, I was just thinking, did I actually make it in the end? I think I looked it up, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I think it had something weird with it, it may have been pearls, or it may have been polymer. And I can't remember which it was. If it was polymer, then it'll be made in a fabricator, which I don't think is right now, I think about it. So it probably is just pearls, which we thankfully do have quite a few. Okay, so, uh, saddle, sir, uh, and I want to find the spino saddle. Uh, there it is. We need 380 fibre. That's not difficult at all. We've even got that on, um, on our bird. That's Rex. So, 300 fiber, that'll be easy enough just to gather. 45 cementing paste and 25 pearls. Okay. That shouldn't be too difficult. The, the cementing paste will be boring as always, but I definitely have enough um, keratin for that. Not on me. Oh, nope. I've got it on me then. Never mind. So, cementing paste is simply stone and keratin. It's a lot of stone per cementing paste, annoyingly, but it's not too bad. Oh, I can't remember making that gunpowder. Oh, and I found a, fl a flashlight attachment in a chest. Yay me. And upside, I can make some more narcotics on here, so I can get some levels while I'm gone. Okay, so I need to get some stone and some fiber. That's really, <clears throat> that's really all I seem to need. The metal is in the fabricator, so is some fiber, I believe, and maybe some hide. Here's all the oh, good, we've got eight cementing paste straight off the bat. That's fantastic. There's some hide. There's a little bit of fiber, and let's get some pearls. Okay. Oh, I did make some more rifle ammo, didn't I? I did. I didn't collect it. Oh, that's really stupid. Wait, I didn't, I didn't make it in here. What did I put it in here for? Well, that kind of um, solves the where did my ammo go conundrum I had last night. Anyway, because I was looking at the um, chests. I was thinking, you know, I could have sworn I had a little bit more than this in the previously. They apparently is in the fabricator the entire time. Spino saddle. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so... Oh, we don't need metal at all, never mind. So the hide is easy, just cementing paste. So I'm, so I'm going to go and run around collecting stones. So I'll be right back with that. Um, we already have enough keratin, yeah, so we're going to need a couple of hundred stones. Oh, this is why I hate cementing paste. Cementing paste is such a bother. It's really easy to get. It's just kill a trike or a turtle. There you go, you've got about ten keratin if you're lucky. And then get um, gather stones. But it's eight freaking stones per one. So I'm going to be doing this for a good 5-10 minutes. So I'll be right back, sir and sir, once I've got all the stuff. Actually, with the harvesting bonus, I imagine that... Actually, I haven't actually tried to harvest stone since I've upgraded the harvest bonus. Drag, what are you doing in the water? Let's see. Uh, drag, your health can be increased. Actually, wasn't you going to be a mount? You know what? I'm going to purely upgra upgrade little drags here. Um, his his uh, movement speed, nothing else. Mr. Rexy, did you have any leather on you by any chance? Yes, you did, thank you. A uh, hired leather, you know what I'm trying to say. 
Take the arrows and upgrade your, your health, however. Okay. okay, let's see then. How much stone do I get from a, from a stone? <laughs> yeah, from a rock now. Wow, even on times two, it's... Yep, that's... That's remarkable. Well, I've made one. I'm about to make, oh look, I'm about to make two. Oh, I've made two cementing base stones. So that's two out of forty-five. Okay, I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm not going to um, subject you to this torment. Three minutes of work and counting, and we have our first eighteen. Okay, my lord, this takes forever. I've decided to um, stop using the axe just purely because it's going to end up just costing me metal. It's breaking so quickly. I'm simply now collecting it from the beach. Thankfully, around there, there's so many you can just basically just hold down um, E most of the time or, or spam E when it's a little bit more um, sparse. I love how these things load in. The, the grass never loads in if you haven't loaded it in for a while. It's kind of weird. It's like the grass is growing in front of your very eyes. So as you can see, it's not too bad. We can make one in. Wait for it. Now! There we go, there's another one. Uh, back in a second again. Second batch. And it kind of dawns on me that cementing pot used to be a lot easier to make. Simply put, if stone was a lot lighter. The big issue I'm having now, it's not so much the fact that um, I need so much of it, although I do certainly need quite a bit of it. It's more along the lines of it's just so darn heavy. If it was the same weight as, let's say, fibre, it really would actually be quite easy to do, but sadly, it's not. It's, I think, it's, is it half a single white each, or is it actually a single white each? I really should know that by now. Is I stuck on the pot? Well, don't do pot, kids. You get stuck on it. So, yeah, um, let's just have a quick look see at the white of it. This should be the last one that I've last drunk. So that's 13. I didn't fully fill my inventory. So, one stone, how heavy is one stone? It's half, yeah, it's half of one white each. Which means, yeah, full stack of 100, takes up 50 white, so I can't really take much more than 200 at most at any given time. Oh, there's a big stone there. Thankfully, the big stones you can actually harvest multiple times. Not quite sure how that works, considering you have to harvest it with a pickaxe or something if you want to get it off a big stone. But nope, these little things you can just take chunks off, apparently. Okay, so it's night time. I'm overburdened with how many stones I've got. I collected the fibre, which I need, at least I think I have. I've collected 170-something, I think, like when I last checked. And I think we might have everything we need now, as I'm certainly hoping we do. If not, I, th I think the only thing possible now is perhaps I need a little bit more stone. I can't imagine much, honestly. Wow. You can really see nothing in night time. I was told you could have lights. I haven't seen lights yet, but I'm told you can have lights. I've got 35 already. I can't remember exactly how many I needed, but... Craft two. Oh, hang on. Keratin with me. Okay. Let me just grab the um, keratin, and let's check how much of this we've got. My keratin's on, on, my, on my animals, don't we? I definitely have enough, because I had at least 100 on one of the uh, bigger thing. Uh, saddles. We need the... Spino, and we have enough of everything except for a little bit. Yep, so I have to go and collect hide anyway. We only need 45 cementing paste. How much, how much do I have now? How many stones do we have? Oh, yeah, we've definitely got enough. What's that? There you go. I was going to say, I knew I had more stones than 100. What am I doing? Okay, so be right back when I've got the keratin. So that took a little bit longer than expected. Thankfully, the Rex did have some keratin on it. I think it had about 50 or 60, but the rest I actually had to hunt myself. Thankfully, with the double harvest thing, it wasn't too much of a bother. And I've made some extra, so next time I'll have a little bit spare. So I need 35 of that. The hide all came from my lovely bird. Thankfully, Hope had loads. Oh, looks morning now as well. Didn't even realise. So that's it then, just the... Oh, we've got eight in there, apparently. Either in there or in my inventory, one or two. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So let's see, have I got enough in here? There we go, excellent. Just keep making it, whatever. I mean, it's free exper it's experience, and I'm not going to use the stone for anything else, so why not? Finally, the Spino Saddle. Let's see how much this gives us. 735.1. Now, I think I'm on regular experience. I don't think I changed experience in the end, did I? Did I? I don't think I did. Not as much as the Rex one, that's... What? Really? Not as much? Okay, I thought that'd give you more than the Rex saddle, I don't know... Oh, that, they're the same level, aren't they? Same little item. Perhaps, perhaps because it had the pearls on it, so I thought, oh well, you know, you've got, you've got underwater to get it and everything, so it seems higher level than it actually is. Well, regardless though, we can finally add our saddle to our little Spino over there, and then we're good to go. Excuse me, Icarus. Let's uh, land. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Bounce me around a bit. Hello there, Algae. How you doing, buddy? Here's your saddle. And... First time riding a Spino. 
Oh, please have, be, have a good turn. Better than the Rex. Is there an alt attack? I mean, I mean, the Rex does the roar and everything, and then certain animals have different specials. Sadly not, okay. Level 33. Okay, let's, let's kill level 33 uh, trike, shall we? To christen our new saddle. Well, accidentally killed the, the, the um, Tranodon. Wow, you've got so much health. Level 54, no, sorry, 57, no wonder. Well, we leveled, I think melee damage is in order. Melee damage and health is all going to be leveling on this thing. Okay, how does it stat? Oh, its stamina is far better than the Rex's. Wow, that, oh, it could be level, though. It could be based on level. I didn't check the stamina of the, um, of the Fiomia, actually. That could be one of the things as well. Apparently this thing swims really well, but I've never actually seen one swimming, because they're so big. Like, right now, we're not swimming, we're running. Still running, though. Yeah. Well, I think I may have a new ground mount um, from getting around. If I'm not in the mood to use the bird, for whatever reason, perhaps it's a difficult um, area, like, like, like a... I don't know, a cavey kind of area or something. Level 81 Dilo, my lord. Hello, Kana. And Turtle. Well, I finished off the Turtle. Uh, let's see if we can kill the Kano as well. There we are. Beautiful. What more could you ask for, Sir and Threats? What more could you ask for? Okay, let's have a quick look-see, and we'll grab... Um, how much health do you get per level? 1,600. Wow, 300 health. That's not bad at all. Having this thing at 3... I think having this thing at 3,000 health is my goal, so I'll get that first. And after that, I'll just do pure damage. It seems to be okay for stamina and such. Um, it's actually not very slow either, which is nice. Well, I think I definitely prefer this to the Rex, using it, that is. The Rex has a certain... Oh, you know, since I don't have my Angrath anymore, I don't feel close to this Rex. It's, it seems weird to say that, but I really don't. Anyway, so interest, um, I've, I've probably got far too much footage now. I think I've had about three, four hours footage now, so I'll try and cut that down to half an hour-ish. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video... Oh, it's so cute looking trying to look up at me. If you have enjoyed the video and are enjoying the ARC series as a whole, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, I can't stress that enough, most importantly, shows that ARC is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I've got a new favourite hunting pet, I think. Seriously, this thing is fun to use. Unlike the Rex. The Rex is really powerful, but so boring to use. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't call. Stay, stay where you are, guys. Thank you for watching, and good... What? What would attack a Spino? Is that a Piranha? Okay, then apparently... A uh, very small piranha decided to bite my spino. Oh, or it could have attacked um, Cheat over there. Where's Cheat going anyway? Cheat! <laughs> okay, goodbye, Sir and Sirettes.